Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Got a pretty big video for you today. I'm going to be showing you the new space that I'll be doing most of the videos in down here from now on. We did move a few weeks ago and I would show you the rest of the space, but there are still boxes everywhere, still stuff just kind of cluttered back there. So not even going to get into that space. We'll mainly be looking at the front wall area and the setup that we're going to have going in down here. And speaking of that, we got some speakers from Definitive Technology. They were kind enough to send out a complete system for review for me to do some videos on. So I'm going to do an unboxing of that stuff today and get some videos out to you soon on the review. We also have a Samsung Q90T 75-inch TV that we picked up recently. It's going to be going here in the center, um, replacing the 60-inch plasma that we've been roughing it with for a few days. And then also um, my rack is going to be going in the far corner and we're going to be throwing mainly the same things that I've had in there um, as far as recently. I've got the Zapiti Pro 4K player, the Zapiti NAS, and then the Emotiva RMC1L processor and the VR3 and XPA7 amplifiers. I also picked up a Panasonic UB420, I believe is the model number, the 4K Blu-ray player. So all that's going to be going in there. Super excited to show you the space, so let's go ahead and get started unboxing the Definitive Technology speakers. So like I mentioned guys, DefTech sent out a full system for the room, starting off with these BP9060 towers. We've got integrated subwoofers on the side, I'm pretty excited about those to see how they sound. We are going to be running down here without any additional subwoofers for the review. Um, I think with 410s with passive radiators, as you'll see on there, it's going to sound pretty good. Uh, you're going to have pretty immersive sound uh, with the bass, seems how there's going to be four different locations that the subwoofers will be. So pretty excited to see how that performs. Next, we got the CS9040 center channel. That is a step below the 9060 center channel that they make that would probably go a little better with these towers, but it is smaller. It's going to be fitting in that space down there. So we needed something that was going to fit. That fits perfectly. Still think we're going to get some great sound out of it. Next we have the A90 Atmos or Elevation modules that go on top of the 9060 speakers. So let's go ahead and get the center channel unboxed and just start going over everything. Now you guys have probably heard of DefTech before. They have been around since 1990 and they're a pretty popular uh, audio brand. They're now a part of the Sound United group and even though Sound United owns several different companies, each company has its own designers, um, sound engineers, and is just, like I said, kind of its own separate company. So they're going to have a distinct sound from, say, Polk, which Sound United owns as well. And usually how most of these are packaged, you open it, turn it, and it should be facing upright, I assume. We'll see here. And turn it again. Now as I'm opening each of these speakers up, you'll see that there is some silver trim along the uh, speakers in various places. That's actually real aluminum. Um, they use fabric and aluminum on their speakers to give it kind of a timeless look and I think it has a great look personally. So we'll get the center channel speaker out. All right, here we go. The CS9040 has two 4.5 inch mids and a 1 inch aluminum dome tweeter up front with the 8 inch base radiator on the top. Everything is tucked away under an acoustically transparent fabric that covers almost the entire enclosure. On the back you'll find the gold plated 5 way binding post. Like I mentioned, fabric covers most of the enclosure with the edges outlined in a raw brushed aluminum. The speaker is finished off with the definitive technology logo up front for a sleek and discreet looking center channel. Frequency response is rated at 50 Hz to 40 kHz. It has an 8 ohm load and has a sensitivity of 89 decibels. Dimensions are 20.75 inches wide, 5.95 inches high, and 12 inches deep, and it comes in at 20 pounds. The CS9040 retails for $499 and comes with a 3 and 5 year warranties. Yeah guys, I really like the look of this fabric with the aluminum on there. It's got the little Definitive Tech logo up front. so. We'll set this aside, open up one of the big boys. Now with these I say to open from the bottom, so we'll get this flipped around. The 9060 is the second largest tower that DefTech makes in the BP line. There's a 9080 above it, which has 
a 12 inch powered sub and the Atmos module permanently attached to the top, or at least it comes with it already, I believe it's permanent. And then the 9040 and 9020 both have 8 inch powered subs in those towers, whereas this has a 10 inch. Let's see if anything's up here first. Yeah, we'll take this out. Accessories. We'll look at that here in a minute. Just that. You what? I just peed on the carpet. You just peed on the carpet? Yeah. Just now? Yeah. Well, I'll be back. Five minutes later. All right, now that that's out of the way, let's resume, shall we? close don't do that so before going any further I would like to point this out um, clearly I missed the on box instructions where you take the base put it on the speaker and then flip it over so don't do it like I did now if you actually unbox the speaker correctly it's quite an easy process all the accessories come in a nice foam packed box with directions right on the lid probably should have taken a look at that the first time Included inside is the aluminum speaker base, screws, a power cord, and either spikes or soft pads depending on where you'll be placing the speaker. Honestly, one of the nicest presentations I've seen for unboxing. First, you'll want to screw the base into the bottom of the speaker, add either the carpet spikes or padded feet, then turn the package over and remove the box. I've unboxed my share of speakers over the years, and this was by far the easiest unboxing I've done, if you do it correctly. The BP9060 might not look like anything special from the outside, but it has some secrets up its sleeve. On the front, it has dual 4.5 inch drivers and a 1 inch aluminum tweeter, much like the center channel. But that's where the similarities stop. Move to the back side and you have another 4.5 inch mid and 1 inch tweeter, giving the speaker a bipolar design and should make way for a larger and more realistic soundstage. And if that wasn't enough tech inside this thin package, towards the bottom there is a powered 10 inch subwoofer and two 10 inch passive radiators. This thin package should carry its weight and then some. On the back of the tower, you'll find the five way binding post for both the tower and optional height speakers, which we'll go over in a moment. The integrated subwoofer is powered by the onboard 300 watt amplifier, which needs to be plugged into a wall outlet to power. The signal for the sub is recommended to be fed through the speaker level input with the speaker set to large on the receiver to send a full range signal. There's an optional RCA LFE input if you'd rather go that route, but again, DevTech recommends that you use the speaker level inputs. Below you'll find a bass volume knob as well as the on off button for the LED backlit DevTech logo on the front. The BP9060 has the same acoustically transparent fabric and aluminum accents, including this thick and rather heavy aluminum plate up top. This covers the top of the speaker where the optional upfiring Atmos module sits. Without the optional upfiring speaker, the BP9060 measures 44.5 inches high, 11 inches wide, including the base, and 13 inches deep, weighing in at 50 pounds. It has a frequency response of 18 hertz to 40 kilohertz, is an 8 ohm load on your amplifiers, and has a sensitivity of 92 decibels. The BP9060 currently retails for $1199 and has a 3 and 5 year warranty. Alright, so um, that unboxing didn't go quite as planned. I think it was the whole peen on the carpet that threw me off, because I'm sure I would have seen the directions if it weren't for that. But let's go ahead and get the A90s unbox. These are the height or Atmos toppers. And these come two per box, so be sure you're not ordering more than you need. Alright, there we go. Like the rest of the BP line, the A90 is covered with the same acoustically transparent fabric and outlined with aluminum accents. They have the same 4.5 inch mid and 1 inch tweeter as the towers that sits at an angle towards the listening position. In a compatible room, these speakers should help give the sense that sound is coming from above the listener while listening to soundtracks mixed in Dolby Atmos or DTS-X. To install these on the towers, first remove the aluminum plate on top of the tower. The A90 has a proprietary connection on the top of the BP tower and simply sits down on top to connect. 
This allows for a very clean addition to the top of the tower with no extra wires or speakers exposed. The A90 measures 3.75 inches tall, 6 inches wide, and 13 inches deep, weighing in at 6 pounds. They have a frequency response of 86 hertz to 22 kilohertz, has an 8 ohm load, and a sensitivity of 89.5 decibels. These retail for $4.99 a pair and have the same 3 and 5 year warranty. Now that the speakers have all been unboxed, let's go over a quick install and overview of the new space. I still have the 25U Navpoint rack that will be holding all of my equipment, which I'll list here on the screen. All of my cabling is from Monoprice besides the XLR cables, which are from BlueJeans cables, including the color-coded 8-channel XLR snake, which makes hookup super quick and easy. Now, the front wall didn't have any speaker wire ran through prior to sheetrock, but adding these pass-through wall plates was an easy fix to get the wires all the way along the front. The CS9040 wasn't high enough to be at ear level in the TV stand, so adding a few isolated rubber pads under the front helped to angle the speakers up a bit. And here we go, a good look at the front of the room with all of the components in place, and my favorite YouTuber on the TV. The TV stand and speakers fit nicely into the wall recesses, and all of those wires off to the right just look terrible. I'm sure I can come up with a high-tech and fancy way to hide all of those, maybe put a subwoofer in there, eh, well, never mind, we'll just, we'll just throw some blankets in there for now. That, that looks professional. Like I mentioned, the front wall has several recessed areas that are great for putting tower speakers. There are several lighting zones on the front wall so you can dial in that mood you're going for, which, let's be honest, will always have the lights highlighting the speakers. Now the basement isn't completely organized for moving, but I figured I'd give you an overall view of the space. As you can see, the theater area is down a few steps from the rest of the room. We ended up deciding against integrating a projector into the room due to not wanting to cover up the front wall and all of the windows off to the side. There's some random furniture in the hall and an unprofessional cameraman not making sure he's not seen in the mirrors. The surround wall plates are positioned for speakers mounted higher on the back wall, so running some speaker wire down to the 9060 rear surrounds was a fairly simple connection. While I'm back here, I terminate all of my speaker wire with Sewell banana plugs, which are probably the easiest and nicest plugs for the money that I've come across. The tower amplifiers were plugged in along the stairs, and we did not plan on running up-firing Atmos speakers, so those had to have some wire running along the stair over to the amplifier to power, making this space more and more kid-friendly by the minute. A quick side note on the TV, since I won't be doing a formal review on it, this is the Samsung 75-inch Q90T 4K television. And don't let my poor camera work or that ugly mug on the TV fool you, this picture is downright stunning. If you're wanting some good TV reviews, head over to my friend Technodad's channel who does all sorts of TV review content. I put my decorating touch around the room, adding my absorption movie poster panels and a few movie items here and there, but my wife did claim an area that I'll have to redo here when she's not looking. The space is plenty big for the four XL theater seats from Valencia Theater Seating, as well as the VLP seats up front. Overall, the room is shaping up to be a great space for hanging out and watching some movies. As a big subwoofer kind of guy, I'm interested to see how these DefTech towers will perform by themselves. So let me know what you guys think of the new space down in the comments below. This bipolar design from DefTech is something that I haven't experienced before, so be sure to come back in a few weeks for a full review video. Thanks again to DefTech for sending these speakers out for review. I'm going to be leaving some links down in the description below for where you can find these products. And while you're down there, be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. It's free for you and it helps me out on the channel. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm sure my son has peed somewhere else in his pull-up in this house. So I'm going to go take care of that, but I appreciate you guys and I will see you soon.